My name is Nana Kopiabo the fourth. To for him of the Boise. Madame Matilda Amwa came to the Boise about eight years ago. We are here today to testify about the good works she came to do. Even though she did a lot of things, I will point out only few. First and foremost is this pipe. There was no pipe in this school when she came. As a result, the children moved to town to fetch and drink water. Some even had lorry accident in the process. Some go and will never come back to the school. Some will also come with their uniforms soaked. Madame Matilda Amwa came to help solve this challenge. And now we have pipe on water in the school. The children no longer go to town to fetch nor drink water. Secondly, we can all see how beautiful the buildings look. I don't even recall the last time the buildings were painted. Miss Matilda Amwa came to lobby through state awards scheme. And today, we can see how bright the buildings look after painting. Thirdly, Madame Matilda Amwa is like a queen mother in this community. Anytime I call for communal labor, she is the first to attend. She is not like others who will only come to crack jokes. She always get involved in whatever work we do. She attends every communal labor we organize. Last but not the least, she is very instrumental in co-curricular activities, be it culture or such match rehearsals. When it comes to sports, she champions the training of the kids. She really came to help us. I therefore recommend Matilda Amwa to any organization or institution for consideration. I also admonish the rest of the teachers to work hard wherever they found themselves. Thank you. Matilda Amwa, a teacher with 13 years working experience, out of which nine years has been spent in Dabwasi, the capital of the Wasa East District of the Western Region. Her work does not only exist in the four corners of the classroom, but also extend into the community. In this house, we will be speaking to a parent whose child was taught some years back by Matilda Amwa. My name is Madame Messi Andom. I know Madame Matilda Amwa when she came to Davoise to teach. This my child was in her class. As time went on, I faced some financial difficulties. She took over responsibility of caring for the child as her own. Beyond my child, she also extended the support to me. Almost every year, she would purchase rice, oil, sandal, cloth, and many more to me. Madame Matilda has helped me in many ways. She is very dear to my heart. I want you to award her. She is someone who is patient with kids 
She teaches with submissiveness and humility. So, award her for me. That's all I have to say. Testimonies continue to pour in for Miss Matilda Amwa. A teacher, earlier on I said, had 13 years working experience, out of which nine years had been spent in the Wasa East District of the Western Region. Currently, we are in the house of a retired teacher, a person who once worked with Matilda Amua, a person whose daughter studied under Matilda Amua, and currently his grandson is in the class of Matilda Amua. In a moment, we'll be speaking to this retired teacher to find out what he can also say or testify about Matilda Amua. Hey, I know her when I met her in my office. She was a professional. And I asked her about her. She was a professional. She was having no choice. It's an evening. At the same time, when I was in the office, he and I were always said, when it comes to death, we could do like that. So I knew her for some time. She was very good. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to thank you. We are so little. We have every Tuesday. And this is from teacher, as well as from children who are in this class, just in this class. If you are in the room, you can move ahead. I'm going to tell the parents that this is not the time of our child in this. So, Mr. Mensah, from all that you have said, if you have the opportunity to recommend her for any future awards, will you be kind to do that for her? Really? She didn't even give me to bang her outside. Thank you very much, Mr. Nasser, for the time. Thank you. With all the testimonies received from parents, uh, teachers, local authorities, concerning Miss Matilda Amwa, there is a saying that the sweetness of the body is in the eating. So therefore, we are going to take an opinion from the headmaster who's supervising authority Matilda West. My name is Frank Obusuma, the head teacher of the Martins American Family and Ever since I have done duty as a head teacher, I've worked with many teachers. But most Matilda are more. The one who I'm here this morning, this testimony of my today, is a very hard working teacher. She is a teacher at uh, basic two. She is the only teacher who controls the largest uh, enrollment in this school. She has about she has to run people in her class. But always, whenever the head teacher is going, and we have this number, this normal visiting in the various classrooms. We find the class very quiet. We see all the people listening to her attentively. She is someone who can handle things with ease. And also, she knows how to hamper children. She will see because even those who are not in the class, even those in JHS who have taught for a very long time, I see them going to them all the time. Ms. Matarama is a proud queen. She is someone who is already in the way. We always see her in her job and see this way. And do with that, the district assembly has chosen her as the the master coordinator, if you were in the district where we are in all our city districts, she was the master coordinator. 
the various programs like six months, she will be assigned to go to a particular school to train people to increase health and education. In our schools in Pilates, we are the only basic school that, uh, that has a cadet, a form cadet, this much more is in charge of the school cadet. She has been training the people during the six months. And then the success story of the six months in our school is through her effort. Through her effort, we have had and we have won so many trophies for the school. She is also a sports woman. She trains a school sports team. You see, we have, if you look at me in front of me here, we have some trophies here. When I came, the school had a lot of trophies. I did this, I got a few of them back in the show. Through her efforts, we were judged uh, the, the best uh, school. In the, in the circuit sports competition. I remember three years ago, our guests, our uh, netball guests, were first in the netball. Last year, 2018, we were first. So our boys, we were the first last year. And then, and then in the last few years, we were also second. Uh, Miss Matilda Juan is someone Whatever you did that you assign her to do, she will not complain. She will do it from her own words. You see, when you come to the school, it seems she is the only teacher at the school. Every area, every position is in charge. If you, while you are giving uh, something to somebody to do in a person who is doing it, you, you, you will not even call her. Please, she, she herself will just come out and then take that exact position and help the person. And at the end of the day, you see her taking it away from that person. Spiritually, she is also very good. She is our school worship leader. Every Wednesday, you see her worshiping with the people. And at the same time, when you organize something like a uh, excursion, excursion trip, you see, you see her always organizing them and going and coming with the, with the people. Even this, this particular year, after the six months, she organized the people to second be neighbor base for a trip. At the same time, at the same time, she also assist the head teacher in her administration. To cut a long story short, I would like to advise my teachers in my school here to take their way or to do their work very seriously and also to do something also to be captured so that in the future they will also be awarded. So what I will say is that Nurse Matadamwa is an asset to the school and she deserves to be awarded. We learned about addition of what? One digit numbers. Today we are going to continue our lesson on what? Addition of three or four one digit numbers. All of you say it. Addition of three or four. They are numbers that to nine. They are numbers that start from zero to nine. So I'm going to, let's mention those words. Yeah. Zero, one, two, three, three, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. This is these are one they get what? Numbers. Now I'm going to give you a, an additional sentence of what? Three or four, one they get what? Numbers. I have my first number here. Two plus three plus four. Now I have on the board 
two plus three plus four equals to what? Now take your counters. Three plus four equals to what? Now take your counters. I have my counters with me here. Put your hands down. I have my counters in my hand. The first one you get number is what? Two. So this is the first one is two. One. Two. Then you put it there. Have you done it? Yes. What is the second two they get in number? If you know, raise your hand. Son of E. Good. So let's count. One, two, Good. You put that one two there. The next three, uh, uh, the last uh, digit number. Grace. Four. Good. So let's count. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Good. So when you finish, you take all, then you put together. Have you all put together? Yes, madam. Let's count. Ready? Go.
Is it four? You don't use your hand. So, son of you, read your figures for us. Mm -hmm. Five plus four plus six plus nine. Good. So, son of you, stand there and wait for them, the class. Son of you, are putting a. So, let's count and see. Then the last number is nine. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. So when you finish, what do you do? Sandra, when you finish, what do you do? You put them aside. You put them aside. Jerry, what do you do? Yes, what do you do? You put all together. You put all what? Together. So let's count and see ready go. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 